Are you looking for a new city to call home? We've got you covered. In this video, we will be comparing two of the most popular cities in the United States, New York City and Chicago. Have you ever wondered which one is right for you? Do you wanna live in a bustling metropolis with endless opportunities? Or do you prefer a more relaxed and suburban environment? We will put these great cities head to head and let you decide which is right for you. So stay tuned and get ready to explore the best of the Big Apple and the Windy City. Cost of living. First on our list to compare is the cost of living in Chicago versus New York. New York is notoriously expensive, so it will come at no surprise that Chicago wins this category. For those looking to save a buck, the Windy City is the more affordable option when compared to New York. Living expenses in New York City are 85% higher than they are in Chicago. The average cost of groceries and transportation is also more expensive in New York than in Chicago. But the most significant difference is the housing. Chicago compared to New York is much more affordable. The median sale price of a single family unit in New York is $755,000. While in Chicago, the average cost is $328,000. It is important to keep in mind that the median household income in New York is also higher at $92,000 while in Chicago, it's only 62,000. If the cost of living is an important factor to you, or you are a remote worker, then Chicago might be a better choice. In the cost of living category, Chicago is the clear winner. All right, let's talk weather. While the weather in neither city is perfect, New York City's climate tends to be slightly favorable overall. Both cities have distinct seasons, with cold winters and hot summers. However, Chicago generally has harsher winter conditions, while the summer temperatures are equal between the cities. New York experiences a modified maritime climate, which is when the air is warm and moist because of the Atlantic Ocean. Chicago sits on Lake Michigan, so it's not as effective in warming the air. Downtown Chicago sees more extreme temperatures during the winter due to its continental climate. Also, New York only averages about 25 inches of snowfall per year whereas Chicago averages 35. The difference in weather is mostly based upon location. Chicago receives northern winds from Canada, while New York gets some warmth from the Atlantic Ocean not offered by Lake Michigan. Both cities give you four beautiful seasons, but if you prefer slightly warmer climate all year round, New York might be the better option. I would give New York a slight edge in the weather category. Okay, job opportunities. In terms of employment opportunities, both cities offer a wide variety of choices. New York City is home to some of the largest companies in the world and offers plenty of prestige for those looking for it. On the other hand, Chicago is a smaller city with plenty of up-and-coming startups and vibrant business communities. There's no clear winner when it comes to job opportunities, but New York City may be better for those looking for higher positions with larger companies, while Chicago could be better for entrepreneurs looking to start their own business. If you're looking to make your mark in the world, then New York is probably the better option for you. If you prefer more diverse job opportunities with better work-life balance, then Chicago might be your place. Okay, let's talk crime rates. Chicago versus New York. Which one would you guess to be safer? It's probably easy to guess that Chicago has a higher crime rate than New York City. However, some areas in both cities have safer or more dangerous neighborhoods. In this section, we'll cover the homicide crime rate. Chicago has a homicide rate of 29.3 per 100,000 people, while New York is only 5.7 per 100,000 people. New York has the lowest homicide rate of any major city, including Los Angeles. Chicago scores worse than Los Angeles, but cities with higher homicide rates than Chicago include Milwaukee, St. Louis, Cleveland, and Detroit. Obviously, citywide averages don't tell the entire story. It's important to research each city's neighborhoods individually and make an informed decision on where you feel safest. Based purely on statistics, New York is a much safer city than Chicago. Although crime has increased since the pandemic began, New York is still lower than most other major cities. Chicago, on the other hand, reported 800 homicides in 2021 alone and continues to struggle with violent crime. New York is the clear winner in this category. All right, up we have city culture. The biggest difference in the city culture is that New York is more densely populated than Chicago. This means that more people are in less space, leading to a fast-paced life that many find refreshing. Chicago, on the other hand, has a slower pace of 
of life and has more spread out neighborhoods and suburbs. People enjoy walking from one end of the city to the other on a sunny day and exploring the many neighborhoods that make up the city. When it comes to diversity, both cities are equally welcoming to all walks of life. However, New York is a bigger city and provides a richer array of culture experiences than Chicago. Both cities are a melting pot with a diverse food scene and at the end of the day, it all comes down to the personal preference when it comes to culture. So if you prefer a busy city life, then New York is probably the better option. But if you're looking for a more relaxed vibe, then Chicago might be your place. This category is really a tie, but you can give a winner based on your own preference. Okay, so we have commute times. Something that has become evident since the pandemic started is how much time Americans waste commuting. Both New York and Chicago have great public transportation systems, but which one is better? The average commute in Chicago is 35 minutes, while New Yorkers spend approximately 41 minutes commuting. New York is incredibly congested, although offering one of the best transportation networks in the country. Trains, buses, and cabs are abundant, which can make for many commuting options. Almost half of Chicago residents commute by car, whereas 78% of New Yorkers use public transportation. Although Chicago suburbs are more directly accessible to the city, New York workers typically live near neighboring cities. Chicago is less congested than New York, but has a smaller public transport network. New York transportation is accessible 24-7, while Chicago offers only limited options. Overall, New York is known for its fast-paced lifestyle, while Chicago has a more relaxed vibe and shorter commute times. Neither would be a great category if you were looking to avoid the hustle and bustle of a city life. This category is pretty close, but Chicago has a slight edge if you're looking for an easier commute time. All right, so in conclusion, Chicago versus New York. At the end of the day, it is important to consider all of the factors that are important to you when making a decision about which great city to live in. If you are looking for a diverse and large city, then New York would be a great choice. If you prefer a slow-paced life with easy access to the suburbs, then Chicago would be better suited for you. Whichever city you choose, make sure to research the neighborhoods carefully before making your final decision. Whether you are looking to relocate to Chicago or New York, you can text or set up a call to discuss your options with a local real estate agent like me. We will be able to find the right area that fits your needs and budgets. All of our contact information will be in the description box below. If you want to see us compare any other cities to Chicago, please leave them in the comment section below. No matter where you decide to live, each city has a lot to offer and can give you an amazing experience. So make sure to do some research before making your final decision. Good luck and see you in the next one.